Today we'll be covering commerce features on the Polar Cloud. So really quickly, let's go over commerce and fundraising features on the Polar Cloud. There are three main avenues in which a school can raise funds. So selling objects, receiving tips on any objects that are not for sale. So those are just free uh, public objects and then accepting donations at the school. The school in all three cases keeps 100% of the proceeds. So a couple ideas here and then we'll dive in to see exactly how it's done. The idea that you could maybe host a digital or in person modern day make sales so instead of selling baked goods, you're selling 3D printed parts or digital designs online. Um, Araho, New Zealand school raised $2,500 for a charity. Super thoughtful, exciting thing to do just by selling custom 3D printed key rings. So um, if you make it into a large effort, the Polar Cloud can help you corral all those funds and then uh, uh, export them to your bank account or debit card later. Help students show off their designs. Our most popular printing time is around the holidays. We think that's because these students have such an insatiable desire to show off what they've made, take it home, give it as a gift for someone else. They're really proud of it, and that's awesome. Another way is um, fostering entrepreneurial spirit. So if a student begins to think like an entrepreneur, understanding what maybe makes their object sell or not sell, is it at too high of a price point? Is it a personalized item that only appeals to me? Things like that, um, starting to think that way can be really exciting. So the way that you receive funds on the Polar Cloud or raise funds is by receiving tips on a public object. That means that object is not listed for sale. It can be printed by whomever. If that person wants to give you a tip or kudos, they can do so. List items for sale. This means that in order to print to that object, that person would have to purchase it. At one time purchase, they can print it as many times as they like. And that object is in the school store. Or the school, without taking any additional steps, can accept recurring or one-time donations. So those are the three main ways. Let's go ahead and dive into the cloud and take a look at how it's really done. So here you'll see in my top bar, it shows that I've raised $27. I've been responsible for $27 being donated to, in this case, Union Hall Academy, my school. If I click Dashboard and then Store, this is where the teacher and the school admin will be uh, accepting and promoting objects that are pending into current school store objects. So this only handles objects that are trying to be listed for sale by students. Clicking the little a uh, dot icon or, or arrow icon allows me to approve it once I make sure that it's appropriate and a good price if I if I care to edit that. Uh, that's now in my school store. And again, if you ever need to launch this informational page, it talks more about the school store. There's an frequently asked questions at the bottom. Um, that's a good place to start. Now, if I want to add an object myself, this means that I have published an object. I'm the teacher in this case. Students would visit this page as well. but this shows all of my objects that are are available and eligible to be sold. That means that they have adequate information, like a photo and description, and are publicly shared with the community. I list a price, and I edit my description, and then click Submit. Since I'm a teacher or admin in the school, that goes directly into the school store. If I were a student in this case, that would be pending, requiring approval from my teacher. If I want to see what other people would see, I click view my store. This takes me to my school's public facing page. And here is where you would add one or multiple objects to your store, or sorry, to your cart. You can sort by highest grossing alphabetically or by the most recently added. And this is where the donate and support tab is as well. So that means that you can give once of any amount or become a recurring donor. You'd simply click one of the amounts or enter your own and then enter your credit card information here. So for others who want to support your school, go to connect and schools and then the schools page they can either search, find your objects in the most recent or whatever these are, you know, just the random three objects that are for sale or they can find your school on the map if that's easiest for them. So here, I'll go to that school, and then the store tab, and here are those for sale items. So the home page, before a user ever signs in or logs in, they don't have to create an account, can 
tip objects and donate to schools pretty easily. So there are a list of featured objects and featured schools if you scroll down here, but we can make use of the search. So if I know the object name or the student name or school name, then that all helps. So let's start just by finding an object. So I don't even have to hit enter. I'll just type in my search term and that returns some, uh, some swoop mascots here for one of the schools. So find my object. I can confirm that this generic name in this case is who I'm looking to donate to. Um, it'll go to their school on their behalf, but it'll be marked as a donation that they received for their object. And if I were to click open object, that would try and open up the cloud and have me sign in. But we can tip with a credit card without having signed in. That would come in as anonymous. So that's how you tip an object without signing in. If we're looking to do the same for a school, find my school. I could have entered in more search terms to have that return a little higher, but eight members, one printer, 22 models. This school has raised $21. If I wanted to uh, purchase a store item, I could do that or tip one of their uh, objects that are in the store. I can do that without signing in or make a donation to the school. So no recurring donations here because we need to know who that is, but you can make an anonymous one-time donation without having to sign in.